6th of November 2007. At around 11.30pm, 19-year-old Nathan Mann entered Hayes Park Nursing Home, Leicester, with the intention of robbing it. The home, in Cropthorne Avenue, was in a quiet sat cul-de-sac of the Rowlett's Hill area of Leicester. Mann broke in through a downstairs window, which was actually the bedroom of two residents, Rashimi Bediani, aged 56, and Rabadan Chauhan, aged 72. Both residents were bedbound and would have been helpless to resist the attacks of man. 7th of November 2007, the day after, they were found at 4am the following morning by staff who were on their rounds. Mrs Badiani had suffered massive head injuries and Mrs Chohan had been smothered with her own bedclothes. When arrested, Mann admitted to being in the room where the murders happened, but would say nothing further. He did deny any sexual motive. Monday the 14th of July 2008. Mann of Avonside Drive, Crown Hills, Leicester, pleaded guilty to two counts of murder when he appeared at Nottingham Crown Court. Sentences was, were deferred to allow for medical report and a psychological assessment of man. Thursday the 31st of July 2008, man was sentenced to life imprisonment with a recommendation he serve a minimum of 24 years. The trial judge, Mr Justice McConn, warned that he could expect to spend at least 30 years behind bars for the crimes, which the judge described as of appalling nature. Saturday the 1st of October 2011. Nathan Mann and an accomplice, Michael Parr, lured convicted paedophile Mitchell Harrison, aged 23, into Mann's prison cell, where Michael Parr pinned him down and man cut through his neck with a scalpel made from plastic cutlery and a razor blade. He also tried to snap his neck. The pair then cut open his stomach with the intention of eating their victim's liver, but they could not carry it through. Man calmly walked out of the cell to a prison guard where he said, There is a dead man in there. When asked why they had done it, Nathan Mann said the two men had fantasised about killing and eating someone. Harrison had annoyed them and was arrogant. Harrison was serving a four-year sentence for raping a 13-year-old girl. Several months before the pair lured Harrison to sell C-22 in the vulnerable prisoner wing, Nathan Mann had told his mental health nurse that he wanted to kill a nonce. Monday the 3rd of October 2011. Nathan Mann and fellow prisoner Michael Parr appeared at Peter Lee Magistrates Court in County Durham, accused of killing Mitchell Harrison at HMP Franklin. Wednesday the 4th of October 2011, the pair appeared at Newcastle Crown Court, charged with the murders. Thursday the 12th of July 2012, man pleaded guilty to manslaughter on the grounds of diminished responsibility. He was jailed for a further 16 years. Parr pleaded guilty to murder and was sentenced to a minimum 32 years. He was currently serving a life sentence for attempted murder of a hospital patient. At Newcastle Crown Court, the judge, Mr Justice Oppenshaw, said it was unlikely the pair would ever be released. 7th of August 2020. Prison officer Alan Johnson, aged 59, was allegedly left mentally scarred after witnessing Paedophile Mitchell Harrison be disemboweled in front of his eyes has won a £125,000 payout. Mr Johnson was working at HMP Franklin in Durham when he witnessed the horrific attack by Nathan Mann and Michael Parr on convicted paedophile Mitchell Harrison. Thank you for listening. Murder UK is a site about murder within the UK. We present the facts with no speculation. If you found this interesting, please consider subscribing and press the bell icon to get notified when we upload new videos. Thank you.